Hey guys, Sword here, and as you can see, I still have my little arm sling right here, my ice pack here, I gotta keep this on for a good two weeks, pretty much what it is that I gotta keep my arm elevated, I gotta put an ice pack on there for every 10-20 minutes, like five times a day, but I'm just gonna leave it on there because it's very very hot in this area, so why not keep myself cool by putting an ice pack on my arm, so I can keep myself cool, it's gonna help me record videos because it gets hot in my room as well, so that is a good... That is a good advantage to having an ice pack. Not only is it going to reduce the swelling, help out with the healing process, it's going to help me keep cool in my room. Because it does get very, very hot in my room. So, what else is new? What else is new is that they did sort of actually record the thing. They didn't actually record the whole operation. They just took pictures. They wanted to take pictures. And they didn't want to actually get it recorded. So... I'm, 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 I can't say I am mad at them, and I can't say I am legitimately disappointed. Is because they could have just said flat out no. I got what I got, I should be happy with it. That's how I'm going to see it. And the deal is, right now, is that it's going to be a, a, separate, a separate video, and I don't know how YouTube is going to rate this, because it is, it is a little bit graphic. Especially when you're looking at the bone spur. All this is just a snippet, like 5 seconds of looking into my arm with the bone spur in there. So you know what it looks like. And then the second clip is going to be like around 5 or 6 seconds long. And it's going to be the bone spur itself taken out. I wish I could have actually flipped it over. But like I said, I got what I got. It's better than nothing at all. So you got to stay positive. You got to look at the bright side. Because there's no way I could take it back. <laughs> there's no way we could start over with this again. But if any other case, that's just how it is. It is what it is. I completely forgot to ask them a few more questions or any other requests I could have done to change all of it. And it's because, of course, when they gave me the IV, they gave me the anesthetics. They gave me the... Antibiotics, it's already, it was already kicking in because all I know it was at one second when they put the anesthetic, like the anesthetics in, I was just pretty much laying in bed, just waiting, waiting. I wanted to see what was going to happen. Next thing, I'm out. I literally blacked out. I have no, I have no memory what, what was like the last words that they were said. I don't know what happened. All I know is that I was just laying there looking at the ceiling. Then next thing I know, I wake up and the whole operation is already done. I'm in an arm sling. I feel no pain. And they did a great job with that. I felt absolutely no pain whatsoever. So they did do a good job of the whole operation. And now I just got to keep my range of motion to a, to a little point. I could still play console games. Just have the controller on my lap. And I could possibly pay, play some PC games. Just as long as I'm a little, little bit hunched over. And have the mouse close hand. And then I could just type with the keyboard with my left hand. So, I'm predominantly right-handed, so now I'm doing everything with my left hand. And it's kind of awkward at points, but I'm already kind of used to it because that's what I used to do anyways. I used to actually do a lot of other things left-handed so that I could actually multitask with my right hand with something else. Just, it's how I actually trained myself to do that. So, if any other case, it's just like it's going to be normal. I'm still going to record videos, I'm still going to do a lot of things, but if I'm drugged out and if I start to like go all loopy, then hashtag blame it on the drugs. I'm going to have some painkillers, I'm going to have some ibuprofen, I'm just going to have other things, I'm going to have anti-nausea, it's just, it's going to be a whole cocktail of medicine and other things, especially when I'm taking my vitamins on the sidelines to help me uh, to heal up, obviously. And then for food, I can't eat anything greasy. So pretty much, I'm going to go back to a Subway diet. That's going to be great. Or I could just get some other foods from home because my dad is a great cook. He is a great cook. He knows how to cook a lot of stuff that's pretty much little to absolutely no grease whatsoever. Especially with vegetables. I love the roasted vegetables. So, again, with the whole bone spur thing, I'm going to post two pics on Twitter. Let's see if Gross's injuries will actually take a look at that because it's pretty gross. I looked at it and I'm like, oh my god, is that what it looks like? Yeah, I wonder if they're going to pick it up. And I'm pretty sure that Craziest Injuries is going to take that too. But hey, it's just more for me, I guess. People get to see what it looks like. And I get to share with a lot of people. But I'm going to put the little, in the parentheses, not safe for work. So that people will know. It's going to be ugly. But other than that, 
it's just how it is for the two weeks. I'm going to be in an arm sling. I'm going to have to ice it up. I'm going to have to give medications just in case the pain is too much and all that good stuff. And of course, with the sleeping thing, I got to either sleep with my back elevated. I cannot sleep on my side and I cannot sleep on my stomach. It's just pretty much I got to get used to that because I'm the type of person that likes to sleep on my side. So that's going to be a bit of a challenge. And then for showering, of course, I got to make sure that the bandages or the other stuff, the stitches itself, cannot be wet. And once I'm done, I got to dry it up real quickly. And after that, it's going to be good. And one thing I want to show you guys is the stitches itself, because I want to see the stitches. But for now, this is pretty much day one of the whole entire deal. That's why it's kind of dark in my room. And I just wanted to keep you guys updated on what's been going on. So thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for sending the positive tweets and the comments about this whole deal. And now, like I told my father, I told some other people that the pain... Oh god, I just I just accidentally flexed. Oh god. Whoops. Felt a little bit of a tingling. Ow. Okay. So the pain... <laughs> kind of ironic that I'm talking about this when I'm experiencing it. It's only temporarily. And the results, pretty much for a lifetime. Positive results, not negative results, positive results. Gotta think positive, people. Just, the positive results are for a lifetime. I will no longer have to worry about my arm ever, or the muscle going over the bone. I'm, I won't have to worry about anyone hitting the bone by accident or anything like the matters of that. Or if I were to get myself into an accident. Because one thing I could tell you for this for sure. Like, whenever I try to reach over with my right arm... Guess what gets hit first? The bone. Now I'll be able to actually reach out and grab something and not have to worry about it. That's what I've been using my left hand for. And at times I want to use my right hand, but I just can't. Because the bone's in the way. I have to move everything further apart and try to reach for it, but I just can't. I don't know. It's just... It's, it's, those, it's those types of situations where you have to use the other arm, but you just can't. Ah, well. Just pretty much... That's all there is to say. Again, the things, I'm going to probably have to have a separate video and I got to put 18 plus so YouTube doesn't get on my case about that. It's like, oh, you posted this. Oh, no, 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 no. Just automatic 18 plus. I'm sorry for those who want to see it. But again, I will post a pic on Facebook and as well as Twitter because they don't care. Just as long as it's not probably, uh, uh, pornography. Just as long as it's not pornography, you're okay. You can just show everything else on there. <laughs> Go figure, right? Ah, uh, well, before I ramble on too much, have a great day, everyone. I'm Sorry Kings of Iron Zero. Again, thank you guys for the support. And once this healing process is done, I'll be going back to making videos as much as I can. If anything else, I'm going to do some live streaming on, my, on days where I don't want to make a video. So, there we have it.